Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery at night. In front of the picture window and it's really dark out. And I have an OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula that I'm going to start with. And I'm going to use a bunch of paint on my canvas just to create a background. So that I can put a tree down that I make with color art prism pours. That was Mead and Black. This is Master's Touch Payne's Gray. I kind of want it to have that same smoky effect uh, I used in another video recently, but I'm not sure what I'm going to get. And I'm not too worried about whatever it is, to be honest with you, because it's a background. And I want it to be a little on the mysterious side. This is some... Let's make sure it's shaken. This is some Artist Loft. White. Which I may need more of. I'm trying to keep my bottles out of the way. I have some Anita's White Metallic. I'm being called to some purple. And I suppose I could use the cell activator, or, better yet, I could grab my dioxazine purple because it is conveniently open, which is which never happens unless it's a meant to be gig. And if I need more, I know where to find it. I'm going to clean off my spatula as I go in somewhat random seeming patterns. Create some stripes across that are just kind of gentle on the eyes, I think. I'd like to cover the canvas because it's pre-primed matte. When I go across, I'd like to pick up the paint on the blade and bring it back across and try and finish and fill. I don't really want a ton of paint. That was a plastic palette knife that I bent for no particular reason other than I wanted to try and bend it with my torch by heating it up. This is pretty good. This is pretty much exactly what I wanted. I just have to make sure that I don't miss any of the gaps as I go along. I pre-prime my edges with the Mead and Black. And if I see any more gaps... No, that's nice. I like that. And I'm even popping some cells. I could put a little more gold in there, but I don't have to. For a nice subtle background, that suits me perfectly. And I'll show it to you. Whoop, maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, I need that. That's my meeting. Black. Let's make sure nothing is in the way of this before I get started. Alright, so we're keeping the meeting black and we're putting everything else away for the moment. And it does not matter upside down or right side up, but I think I like the way I was looking at it for my tree. And I want to be able to swipe a tree. So, let's make sure that that is not canvas. Although, it's where the tree is going to go, so it really doesn't matter. So here goes nothing. I kind of want this to be a gnarly tree. Like, not normal. <laughs> I'm not sure how to go about it, but I kind of think if I leave myself a nice puddle of paint, 
that I can swipe up through. That will probably work for me. Put my excess right down at the bottom. I can hope so. So I have some ambrosia. And I should be putting my lids back on as I go. I have some Pink Lady. I have a little claret. And I'm looking for a really random, random pattern of colors. A little frozen. A little water dragon. This tree may travel quite high up. This is not, <laughs> I don't remember what that is. This is bonfire, which is awesome. And I'm getting to the point where I think I might have more paint than I know what to do with. So I'm going to try and use the colors I want, which is to go for the blue velvet. I'm going to have to, I'm going to mix cells and try and spread paint. So this is a really challenging, it's my poinsettia. Yeah, and this is going to be a very colorful tree. This is my African violet. I need some orange in here, I think, but I've got pink diamond, which isn't a bad start. Gosh, I hope this works. It could turn into something else entirely. Oh, I've got stuff all over them. I dribbled. Okay, well. Let's take care of that right now. Pretend it didn't happen. I've got some Tuscan Sun. Try not to dribble. I hope I can get this to the point where I can put my top back on, tops back on. I have some hot orchid, which I don't use very often lately. You can't purchase it anymore, but I think the jasmine in the, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the powders. It's not coming, but they're by Color Art. That's just awesome. <laughs> I just, I still have a grand fondness for this color. And I've got some frosted berry, which I think should add a little bit of highlight. I have very little of my Chantilly lace left, and I have not used any of my gold, and I'm going to use some of my Egyptian coin. I said I wanted to use orange and then I didn't do it. I have some, let's put that down. Some unknown orange. And I have a few friends who really like orange, so this is this is for them. And they're not getting much because it just plugged up on me. Okay, well that's that. I'll just have to unplug it and see what happens. Now I've got multiple tools, but I think I want to go, I want to start by going down into the roots.
And I'm kind of imagining that some of those colors are going to come out because I've got... Oh, I did not use my cell activator. I used the meat and darn. Okay, well I guess we get to see the difference now. Let's use some white cell activator. That was an unfortunate mistake on my part. Alright, there's some cell activator. I need a scrape dish, and I have one right here. I'm going to keep trying different combinations till I get one that works. That seemed to work. Try the Amsterdam white again. The paint seems to be setting up tonight with the skim on the surface. Those gold dots over. And I'm thinking I'm going to grab one of my one of my own homemade tools. Put a little bit of everything on it. I was going to try out that bent palette knife, but I think another time. Let's do it one more time before we start playing with colors. I think I need a smaller tool. did use an abundance of paint, I have to say. That's not my usual prerogative, but in this case I wanted it to be kind of unusual. So in this case it's working to be that. And I am stealing a little bit of paint. From my tree, figuring I've got plenty, and I'm loving the patterns in there. So it's not really a discouragement to keep me from keep going. Usually I would just use my um, smaller spatulas. And I'm not done yet, so I probably will still do so. Just picking up and moving some paint. Because there's a ton of it. It's a colorful tree, that's for sure. It could take me a lot longer than the time I have allowed to do this, I think, now that I've started. I'm going to just use whatever I've got in my dish that I scraped off.
And then, because I can, it's time to play. Let's see what I can do as far as branches go. I haven't tried this with the prism pour paints. I thought they'd be beautiful, and they are. It's really, really sweet, actually. Except for that hair I just noticed there. All right, I've got three minutes to tell you guys that I'll swing that around and show it to you right now for a minute. I could even work on it upside down for a little while, probably without doing myself much harm. Just every once in a while, add a branch. Plenty of paint to steal from. Don't want to give up. I don't want to mucky the colors up too badly. I didn't get as twisted on my tree as I was planning on it. I'm quiet. I should tell you guys, I do sell my artwork sometimes, and it's very helpful when it happens. And uh, if you're interested in inquiring about the purchase of an artwork, please feel free to use my email address. It's right below the link tree. The link tree is well down underneath the promo code for color art. I'm going to turn it back. For color art and prism pores and everything else color art. That's pretty cool. I, I kind of want to do a part two and do the sky, or the foliage rather. What am I thinking? I've got some paint in my spoons, which isn't going to keep me from using it and adding it right in. I've got some green, so I might as well try it. I could definitely blow some foliage around with a dryer and some cell activator. That might be kind of neat. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I do kind of like that Fandango green. And I have other green colors. Oh, I forgot my paint apron. It's a good thing I'm not wiping on my, my uh, clothes right now sort of decided to stop throwing away some of my favorite comfy pants <laughs> by wearing them in the studio. I don't know, maybe this didn't need to go as low as it went to the bottom, but I still really like it. And it is supposed to be a huge tree. And it does take a while, you know, you, you're not going to get it instantly. It takes a while to add all your branches. That's it for me. That's the end of part one. Check out the drawing at the beginning of the exhibition video prizes. The prizes for the drawing at the beginning of the exhibition video. I'm going to try and zoom in to the bottom of this so you can see. And when I come back in part two, I'll be adding some more branches. I have a hard time seeing that, darn. Let's move it up someplace where it might be a little easier. The reflection is obscuring that. That's a shame. Really. <laughs> darn, darn shame. But you'll see it in the thumbnail. And I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Hopefully. And trying to figure out what to do in part two with the top. And I'm really thinking about doing some bloom-esque shapes. So I will see you in a moment. I'll see you anon. Bye for now. See you in a minute. Priscilla out.